Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord. Once again, welcome to this morning episode. My name is Reverend Elphas Bire. It's a blessing to have you every day. And as we continue to look at this week devotion and encouraging ourselves in the Lord, like David did, I pray that indeed wherever you are, you find a way that don't just see like this is a tablet thrown here, but this is an encouragement to you. So we have looked at dealing at many things, but today I want to talk about discerning the times, discerning the times. I will get back again to the New Testament in Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 16, to, to verse 3. The Bible says, the Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. He replied, when evening comes, you say it will be faint, it will be fair, whether for the sky is red, and in the morning, today it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the sign of the times, discerning times, discerning times. I don't know whether you have ever asked yourself that you know when to ask the right question. For a good teacher or for a good student, they will also know when the teacher is angry so that they can know when I ask, I want to go outside, I want to ask for permission. It's, it's about the timing, discerning the times. So Jesus in this place talks again about the Sadducees and the, and the Pharisees who were so opposed and even threatened by uh, Jesus to see a sign, okay, to prove their credential. They wanted to prove something. The Pharisees and students were so opposed to and threatened by Jesus that demanded to see a sign in order for him to prove that he is the true Messiah. So they ask, but Jesus responds in this particular person he replies that you guys know how to look at ordinary signs. You know how to look at when it will rain or for many people. You know when to look at something and say that food is ready. But you have not known on the greater matter when uh, to know when Jesus will come. So they were skilled in, in, in discerning weather pattern. They were skilled in, in, but in doing and knowing that it was right time to plant and the right time to wake up, right time to do what. But they could not. They were very blind in recognizing significant things. I wanted to be very aware of this. They were totally unable to discern, okay, the greater matters. Okay, of the times. And this includes seeing that Jesus is a Messiah. Jesus is a saint one of God. And this is what I want to ask us this morning. As you go to work, you sometimes know when uh, the meeting is to begin. But do you really know when the important is to be important? Do you need to know when you need to do the right thing? Discerning the times. The times we are living in are very evil times. Uh, you see many people do many things, some of them ungodly. Are we reasoning at about the wealth we are making every day and discerning the times about God? Many times ago, and many people who lived in the 70s, it is said that there are times when people even prepare their heart for the coming of Christ and they would repent every day. They would pray and do the right thing. But do we really discern the same even now? Or we are just living anyhow? We just know it is end months, closing to the end month. So we'll earn our salary and we do our own things. God is inviting us to discern the times. God is inviting us to be able to know rapidly that there are things that are changing. We are no longer living in the place where we will live our own lives. Our children will no longer just grow up. They need to be discipled. Yeah, every day they are accessing internet. We need to decide and see how do we combat the evil forces that are actually surrounding our children, that are surrounding our young people, that are surrounding our leaders. Some of them are self-deceived, as I put it in the first day. God is asking us to discern times and to discern it rapidly. And that will call that we incline closer to him. When you are closer to God, you see things in his dimension. May we discern our times. Jesus is addressing the Pharisees. He's addressing the people that were keen and following the matters of law. 
So we cannot actually just live our own lives. So church leaders or you who is goes to church every day, God wants you to discern the times and that will be a blessing to us. Let's pray as we get to the day. Father, we thank you. We honor you. I pray that you help us to discern the times and discern it rapidly and respond appropriately in our lives, in our walks, in our neighborhoods, in this even political landscape that we measure our words that we are airing every day. May we discern the times, of oh God. You still our God who was, who is, and will be, and we can trust you, O oh God. May we recognize you as the center of everything. So we not just become experts of law, experts of reading things that are happening around us and fail to recognize you as our Lord and our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.